I think these days, uh, like I mentioned earlier, they're getting more and more discerning. I think they're very selective to a certain extent. They look at things like, uh, I would say, uh, attributes that will add value, MRT, mixed development, proximity to amenities. These are things that, if you look at last year, the launches that did exceptionally well, uh, tendency is like they have a mixed development value. Reserve residence is one of those. Because I think people look at the fact that there's an MRT factors, there's a commercial element, uh, there's a residential component, some of them have service hotel. So buyers are getting selective, very, very selective. So when they look at property, they want to look at property that whether there's any future rentability potential, whether is it in, in an area with good uh, opportunities, notes. Uh, we, we have to sell a lot bigger picture these days. So from the point of a salesman these days, we are not walking the show flat and say, hey, this is a big room, this is the toilet. No, nobody sells this way. We have to sell a big picture. We have to sell a growth story. I think buyers, are, they like to hear growth stories. I think Great, Greater Southern Waterfront is one story. I mean, where we are exactly this show flats, the site, Hill Shore, has a growth story of the uh, NUS Cambridge Park. They like to hear such stories. Um, whether you, you want to sell a land talk potential or land talk site, and we know that government launched a lot of land talk sites recently. Why are the blue governments are, are putting seven plots in the north for no reason? I mean, you really study the master plan. I mean, these are things that we train our agents. You go and read the DMP 2025. Um, the government is focusing on five corridors. I think the north-south corridor is one corridor that government is expanding. So we have to sell a future growth story. We have to sell what is the government direction is, what are the government plans are, and how does that this development actually falls into a government's specific planning guidelines and all that. So, so these are things that no longer are agents going up on the ground um, selling you, oh, this is a two-way one bar, uh, you know, this comes with an ensuite. But these are the old ways of selling anymore. So we always start with an educational background to educate the consumer. What are the potential? What are the potential leases? So usually when my guys go out, they will take, this is the project, they'll take a one kilometer radius and see what is the highest achievable yield and what's the rentability of this development before we start marketing it. So I guess with 40 launches these days, I think uh, to really find the USP is, is really testing the developers to the extreme. So I guess uh, look out for things with good attributes is something that I would advise most clients to look at.